Hello everybody and welcome to episode number 3 of my 100 account flipping series. Today we're on to accounts number 15. However, first up I'm going to go over a lot of the data from last week because I think it's important uh, to determine what's the best uh, path forward for the accounts. So first up, uh, we were able to sell off pretty much all the items. Uh, we had a couple left over but it seems like one account is able to uh, readily sell off the supply of 10 accounts. So I think maybe once I get 20, 30 accounts, I may need to add on extra uh, mule accounts essentially, or the ones at least selling off the items. Ideally they'd be members, but they don't really have to be. Not to mention that I am going to be diversifying my items even more, which would require more than six offer slots to even sell the items. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and check the accounts. Now it's been exactly one week since the creation of account six through 10. And uh, here we go. So on account number one, we got 569K. Now I'm pretty sure day one of this week, uh, the runes actually dropped at one GP. So I was able to buy up a lot more than I normally would. However, I was able to sell them all off for five GP. So I mean, while it's not a normal occurrence, I still profited just the same. Account number two was 256K. Account number three was 244K. Account number four was 500K. A lot of that made up with feathers. Uh, once again, feathers actually dropped to one GP. Uh, so I actually bought up quite a few at 1 and 2 GP, however now feathers are back up to 3. I'm actually getting a 2 GP margin on some of those items. Account number 5 is 228k, account number 6, 397, account number 7, 454k, account number 8, 528k, account number 9, 174k, and account number 10, 362k. So if we have a look, uh, it seems like the amounts are relatively similar, however there are some outstanding ones as in three of the accounts are over 500. The main reason for that is actually pure essence. Pure essence I bought drastically more of than any other item and they'll probably keep adding on the account just because uh, it doesn't seem to be bottlenecking on the item. Runes have been surprisingly ineffective. I mean they're they're still good and they're still a staple however I'm going to try to find some other items like pure essence because if we have a look at how many I bought I bought over a mil pure essence this week whereas the next highest item was actually the Earth Rune at 500k. So all in total, I made 3.6 mil this week, which is ridiculously good. I'll go up and show you the spreadsheet I have here after, uh, which has a bit more data on it. But that's actually pretty much double what I got from week one, which is nice. However, like I said, there was a bit of a discrepancy on day one, where I probably got a little bit more profit than I should have. Okay, so here's my flipping spreadsheet. So we've updated with the most recent data from last week. Uh, so here we have week two. 10 accounts and this looks really nice because it's like exactly double. However, I'm pretty sure I got an extra like mil maybe from the first day. So it's probably gonna be closer to 2.5 to 3 mil. I would have normally profited this week. Uh, not to mention I actually got a 2 GP margin on probably 300K of items. That's a bit of extra money that's not accounted for, but either way, still a good benchmark. Over here on the right, we have uh, the amount of items that are buying on the accounts. And this number refers to the amount of offer slots that are designated to this item. So I'm buying air runes on three offer slots spread out over three different accounts, earth runes on five offer slots. So this is the week two totals of items, uh, which I think is really interesting. We got 1.1 mil pure essence, which is over double any other item, which is interesting. Next highest was earth runes and then feathers surprisingly. Next up, we just have our basic runes. Uh, Mind runes is doing surprisingly well and the iron and maple logs actually did reasonably well uh, The base of runes like air fire uh, And earth and water the only reason these two did really well is because they dropped one GP where air runes and fire runes I'm pretty sure stayed steady now these runes don't buy very quick However, they sell off like instantly like air runes and fire runes I'll sell like 300k of them in like 20 minutes, which is nice on the right here is the per account total or maybe it should say more like per offer slot total uh, so for each offer slot in the week, I got, say for the air runes, I got 70k uh, in one week per offer slot. For the earth runes, I got 113k. Uh, you can see down here the pure essence, which never wavered in price, I got 228k of. That's insane. That means on average, I got 32k pure essence every day, which is extremely good. Uh, iron airs and maple logs did reasonably well, uh, even better than the fire rune. So for the next five accounts, I am going to designate two or three more to pure essence just because it does not hit a limit it just keeps getting better and better i'm going to assign a couple more to iron arrows and maple logs because they did reasonably well i'm probably going to hold off adding more to runes i might add maybe one extra to each one but they aren't really buying as quickly as i'd like and i 
prefer to actually diversify into other items, even ones that have lower volume just because they may not be contested as much. I'll go update my graphic after, maybe to better reflect some of the changes I'm going to be making. Okay, so I went ahead and made five new accounts, and it only asked me for a capture code once, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, Jagex must just know I'm a human by now, uh, so it only took me actually like two minutes to do that, which is quite nice. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, make five new accounts and get them through Tutorial Island and suffer a bit more. So we'll come back maybe uh, once we're done Tutorial Island, trying to get my time down a little bit. Last time it took me about half an hour, maybe 35 minutes for Tutorial Island and another hour to get the quest and stuff done. So maybe we can do it quicker. Okay, so the real question is, will I ever get tired of the RuneScape tutorial? If I do it 100 times, will I get sick of it? I don't know, I just love it so much, and that is not even sarcasm. It's actually just so nostalgic and awesome, and it, it really doesn't take that long, and it just kind of brings you into the game. One of my favorite tutorials of any game, I must say. But there we go, speaking of which, we are done Tutorial Island. All five accounts are in Lumbridge. Now I'm going to come here with my main, transfer the items over, and get those quests done. Okay, now last up is the quests. Uh, we're just finishing up Cook's Assistant, and uh, we made pretty good time so far. It's only like 525, so it's only been like 40 minutes, and we're getting on the last lap of all these accounts. I'm pretty impressed with myself. I think I might be able to do this sub one hour, which would be amazing. That's like twice as quick as the first time I did it. Alright, so we're running to uh, do Doric's quest. Now this part of the process, not very fun. Uh, three times now I've had my uh, one of my accounts get clipped onto a fence and then I just lose them. Okay, there we go. Doric's quest done. Uh, that's another quest point. Bring us up to 2 and we're at 5.30 now. We have about 50 more minutes to finish this up and I think we should be good. We'll do this under an hour. And there we go. There is Goblin Diplomacy done on all five accounts. Bring us up to 7 quest points. Just to clarify, I've had a couple questions regarding this. Uh, you do need 7 quest points to access the Grand Exchange, or you have to have like 24 hours of playtime, but clearly I don't want to wait 24 hours of in-game time before I use my account, so I can get in 7 quest points, and I did it in about 50 minutes. Okay, so we have all the accounts created, and I've decided what I'm going to be adding on to the accounts. So we're going to start off here, I have a little, well let's make it small. So we're going to be adding on 4 Pure Essence, uh, 2 Feathers, 2 Maple Logs, 1 Iron Arrow, and uh, three new items actually. I have the Willow Log opened up on GE Tracker. They are a sponsor of mine, so there will be a link in the description for it. Uh, very useful for me, at least in this circumstance. I can see the historical values of the items and see if it's going to be risky to do it. So we can see the Willow Log. So an item like this will probably not stay the exact same price forever, so it's going to be important to look at the historical values and see uh, if it's reasonably low for its timeline. Uh, which it seems to be, and uh, we'll probably buy 8 into 9 for the wool log. We'll do 75k just as a test run. Next up we're going to try the Runescence, again kind of a test run here. We'll do 75k, or maybe a little less, we'll do 50k Runescence and see how quickly they end up buying. And last up we're going to do the rest Body Runes, which uh, should be 5, oh they're actually 6, interesting. Alright, we'll try 150,000 Body Runes. Okay, and on account number 2 we're doing something similar, except we're going to add in Pure Essence, Rune Essence, and Willow Log. That'll be all the Rune Essence and Willow Logs I'll be buying on these accounts, but Pure Essence I'm going to buy in every single account after this, I think. So I've kind of realized that a mill is definitely not going to be enough uh, gold per account. But I'm just kind of hoping that as I make the accounts, as I get profit, I'll be able to maybe work myself up to 2 mil per account, uh, which would be passable, or 3 mil, which would be ideal. Uh, but I don't know, it's a little, that's going to take a while to get 3 mil per account. Okay, so account number 13, I guess. But the third account of the new ones, I'm going to be buying Pure Essence, Feathers, and Iron Arrows on it. So one other thing worth mentioning is the organization of the accounts. Currently, they're kind of hodgepodge. I think maybe as I get closer to the 50 mark, I'll start trying to group accounts together to make things a little bit less confusing. But as it stands right now, it's not really worth doing. And there isn't really a benefit beyond just keeping me more sane and organized. But beyond that, I don't really see the point. Although I'm pretty sure it would look quite a bit nicer to have all the accounts organized together. Okay, account number four is going to be Maple Logs, Pure Essence, and Feathers. Okay, and the very last account is going to be Body Runes, Maple Logs, and Pure Essence. Okay guys, so we're done with that, and that's pretty much all we have to do for uh, today's episode. I've gone ahead and wiped this area here, so we'll update it as we get the new data in. Uh, but here's what uh, we ended up going with. We have three Air Runes, five Earth Runes, three Water Runes, five Fire Runes, three Mind Runes, and two Body Runes. 
I'd like to try to at least even out the elemental runes maybe next episode. That way at least we'll have more of a, a constant between all the accounts. Uh, next up we have now four feathers, nine pure essence, three iron arrows, four maple logs, uh, two willow logs, and two rune essence. So I'm really excited to see uh, if diversifying is going to end up profiting more. Now predictions for this week. I would like to see at least 3.6 mil, hopefully maybe 5 mil would be ideal, uh, but I know last week I got a bit lucky, so 4 to 5 mil I'd be happy with, uh, but anything more than that is just uh, excellent. Alright guys, uh, thanks for tuning in, I appreciate all the support on these episodes. If you do enjoy them, don't forget to toss the video a like, always nice to see uh, these take a little while to make, and uh, well, I have to go through Tutorial Island like 50 times, so toss the video a like, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next episode.